As Time Magazine's Person of the Year for 2013, Pope Francis has been called the hope and change of the Vatican. Every individual is unique, but Pope Francis, we'd have to say, is a little more unique than most popes who have preceded him. Born in Buenos Aires, Argentina, on December 17, 1936, Jorge Bergoglio earned a master's degree in chemistry and philosophy and a doctorate in theology. After training in a Jesuit seminary, Bergoglio became an ordained Catholic priest in 1969. Francis is the first Jesuit pope. From the very beginning, he's been wearing more simple clothes, a more simple cassock without the elaborate sleeves and the red shoes and, and that kind of thing. That's all very typical of Jesuits. In 1998, Bergoglio was named Archbishop of Buenos Aires and became well known for traveling to city slums to work firsthand with the poor. When Pope Francis was Archbishop in Buenos Aires, he used to ride public transportation and he used to criticize people in the clergy who had extravagant lifestyles. This also translated into his life as the Pope. On March 13, 2013, at the age of 76, Bergoglio was named the 266th Pope of the Roman Catholic Church, becoming the first non-European and the first Jesuit priest to be named Pope. Bergoglio became the first Pope to take the name Francis in honor of St. Francis of Assisi. Francis is a name that no Pope ever had chosen. And I think in his case, a fellow cardinal in the conclave who whispered to him, don't forget the poor. And it was at that moment, he chose the name Francis. And it has embodied his entire style, not living in the papal palace, driving his old car, wearing simple clothes, same old shoes. That sort of thing is very striking. Upon being named Pope, Francis abolished bonuses paid to Vatican employees upon the election of a new Pope, and named a group of eight cardinals as advisors to bring reform to the Roman Catholic Church. Pope Francis is a breath of fresh air in the governance of the Church, and I think he's an answer to the prayers of many who have felt that the Church was becoming too locked in on itself. Uh, his favorite expression is the church should not be self-referential. It should bring the gospel out to the world that so much needs it today. I think his election to the chair of Peter has been an enormous sign that the Holy Spirit is still working in the life of the church and that here's a man who can really move the church forward in significant ways. Pope Francis is the head of more than 1.2 billion Roman Catholics. And in 2014, he was named by Forbes magazine as the world's number one greatest leader. I believe that Pope Francis is a transformative leader in this day and age, not just for Catholics, not just for Christians, but for all people.